All right, let's talk about Jordan Love. Listen, it didn't go well. I know they nearly found a way to win this game. This was not a good day by Jordan Love, and this is certainly one that they're looking at uh, not too thrilled with how everything went. It was a bad day. I mean, I thought it was a bad day by Jordan Love, and while there were some positives, and we'll talk about that at the end, uh, this was most negatives for the Packers offense in general, so let's just get into it. We can start off with a couple of missed throws early on. I mean, this one, it's a second down and three. This one isn't terrible, but it's a missed throw. Watch him take the snap and really kind of intentionally throw this one off balance. I don't know why. Like, just, just throw the football. You don't have to be leaning back like that. Uh, I don't know why he did that. And again, it wasn't a terrible missed throw. Still, uh, Dobbs had a chance at that ball, but still, it was a missed throw. It wasn't exactly where he wanted to put the ball. Then on the very next play, this happened, and you know this was on the first drive, kind of became a thing of this was you know something uh, maybe a sign of things to come, perhaps. As watch what's going to happen here, Love is going to take the snap. It's a one-on-one matchup on the outside, and again, that's just he just missed that throw. There's really no other way to put it. I mean, the accuracy thing has been an issue for Jordan Love, and while these weren't devastating, they were still. You know, uh, yards left on the table, first down left on the table there. That, you know, that does kill a drive at the end of the day. Also, this one, which, I mean, so, you know, those last ones, okay, incomplete pass is not ideal. This one is where things get can be really tough. So it's once again going to be Dontavian Wicks, the wide receiver. Uh, Wicks, uh, he was the guy in the last play. He's on this one as well. You see how he's going to try and get into a gap in coverage against zone. Worth mentioning, Third and very long. So you're not expecting him to really get open here. However, when this ball is snapped, I mean, uh, you know, you see the Giants, they were communicating like as the ball was getting snapped. I don't know what they were communicating about. Couldn't have been defensive positioning because there's three Giants players in the area. None of them are covering Wicks. So, uh, you know, that's a great situation here for the Packers. Although this one, I'm actually not sure if it's a, uh, if it really is a missed throw. And this is just kind of been the the weird thing with the Packers is there's a lot of these uncatchable passes, right? And while some of them certainly are, like Love has had accuracy issues, you know, even going back to college, but some of it is, I think, communication stuff. We're watch Wicks on this play. Watch where he is right now and watch what he's about to do. As you see, he drifts a little bit over, and the throw is a little bit behind. So while it wasn't a massive, uh, you know, drift, I did think he drifted a little bit over, and then the throw was a little bit towards the other side, which is what resulted in it being really should have been intercepted. I mean, that was right into the arms of a Giants player. And again, you can sit here and say, well, that's communication. You'll fix that. It's young players. I've never seen a team uh, struggle this much at getting these things down as the Packers seemingly do, and which is why I think some of it isn't just them struggling. I think some of it is missed throws. It's hard to know exactly how much of it is missed throws and how much of it is miscommunications and whatever. Really, no, we're not in the huddle, right? We don't know the play call. Uh, We can't say for certain. However, at the end of the day, you put the ball right uh, in the chest of a Giants player. That's never a good thing. I don't care what the reason is. You got to fix it. But going over here, while that last turnover-worthy play, so to speak, uh, I'm willing to kind of forgive a little bit and, and make some excuses for. No excuses on this one. This was just a, it was a bad play. It was a bad play. There's no getting around it. It's once again going to be Wicks that he's looking towards. And again, on paper, yeah, this is the route you should be looking towards. It's a one-on-one matchup on, you know, towards the outside. Sure. You know, no arguments here makes perfect sense. As you see, though, Love is going to take the snap. He looks over towards Wicks right here, and it's a one-on-one matchup. But what we don't see right now, but we, you know, kind of saw for a second, was the safety who is now off screen despite this wide angle. He's running over there because that's the only deep route. So for Love, if you're going to make this throw, you have to be aware of that. I mean, that should be the main thing you're aware of, quite frankly. But as you see, Love just puts a ton of air under this ball. And I mean, that's that's as easy as an interception as it gets. And it also wasn't far enough. I mean, to be honest, that was a bad throw. Even forget about the safety. This was cover zero. That was a bad throw. I mean, I, there was some pressure. Maybe that affected it. I don't know. But it, at the end of the day, got to put the ball where you want to put the ball. And if that's where he wanted to put the ball, it was a massive mistake. Uh, just not a good throw or a good decision by Love on that one. There's also just plays like this where, so the way this is going to work is it is going to be, you know, Giants, uh, third down and 11, they're just trying to keep things in front of them, right? Uh, definitely having the mindset of let's just protect the end zone here. 
protect the first down marker, use the lack of space down the field to our benefit here. Okay, sure. Makes makes perfect sense to me. So Love is going to take the snap and, you know, right here, typically this is around when pressure is going to start to come. I mean, it's coming a little bit quicker on this play, but still, you have to know pressure can be coming, especially when pass rushers know that third and 11, you know, I mean, th these are when sacks happen, right? Pass rushers can simply just worry about rushing the passer. There's not going to be a running play here. And quarterbacks are more likely to hold on to the ball for a little bit longer. On one hand, you could look at this and say, eh, you know, holding on to the ball for a little bit longer isn't the end of the world. Like you see, he does still get sacked, but you are still in field goal range, albeit longer field goal range. Uh, I think in a perfect world, you would have liked to see him throw a check down. Yes, you probably still don't get the first down, but you did have a check down open. At the same time, though, it's a tough situation. And to me, that's the bigger thing is you just want to see guys get open more on plays like this. That's my biggest takeaway. Although I should mention this was a missed field goal and probably would have been a made field goal if you hit the check down. So definitely still still ended up mattering on this play. There was also this play, which like, I mean, this was an opportunity to tie the game right here. I mean, they would have still had to go for two and get a two-point conversion, but still an opportunity uh, down eight with, I mean, a third down and 10 situation. You have a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside. So, okay, one-on-one -on -one matchup in the end zone on third and 10. It's once again, Wicks uh, here. He's been the guy they're looking towards. You know, definitely makes sense to look in that direction. Watch as when Jordan Love takes the snap, he's going to fire it there. And you see right here, I mean, th there's a window. There's no getting around it. There is a window to make this throw. Troy Aikman gave uh, Love a lot of criticism on this play. I don't actually know how much of that I would consider fair. Because watch how really Banks does a great job at coming back and knocking that ball away. To me, that is a great defensive play to come back and make that happen. Now, could the throw have been a little bit further down the field and a little bit more on a line and come out a little quicker? Sure. All of that is reasonable to say. I don't disagree with any of that. But at the same time, to me, this isn't him making a mistake that they weren't able to get a touchdown because of. It's more so uh, a defender made a good play and maybe it wasn't quite a perfect pass, but I don't know. I have a hard time. I don't fully agree with Aikman on that one. Granted, he clearly knows more than me about being a quarterback in the NFL. But for me, yeah, I kind of just give credit to the defense there more so than blame the quarterback. Like, listen, the throw at the end was very good. This was a great throw, and, like, Jordan Love still in this game showed the flashes of the great plays he is capable of making, but this is just kind of the thing with Love, right, is, you know, in college, this was his thing. He'd look great for a couple weeks, and then he'd have some bad games. The consistency is what they need to get there, uh, and while it was, you know, very fun seeing the great stuff that he was doing these past few weeks— uh, you want to see this go away. So you, I think, I'm sure if you're a Packers fan, you were kind of hoping that it did go away and this is just who he was now. Well, maybe not quite that just yet. But, you know, again, uh, no reason to panic. It was a bad day. Young players are going to have bad days. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.